Hello and welcome to Osho Slim's Xcode tutorial. Today we'll be making an app which allows you, the user, to put something into a text field and the device will show it above, below, left, or right in a text wherever you want to place that text. So let's open up Xcode and create a new project. It will be in a single view application. We'll call this Hello Object. Object. Sorry. Let's create this. Directly we want to go into our storyboard and place a label as this will say hello. It's similar to hello world but it's not going to be because I said so. And let's enlarge this to about 30 and make it visible and centered and raised. And the label I'm putting in right now, this is the label that um, the text will be replacing whatever you want it to be replacing. I don't know what, like you can say mountain or cat, it'll say hello, cat, hello, mountain. Alright, so here we have this that will be replaced. Here's our button that'll go underneath our text field. And so now we have this button, let's change it to change. So what do we have going on here? We have our text field, the user is going to type stuff in there, they're going to press change. This text will become whatever is in here. And then it's usually, hopefully you type in a noun, otherwise it's not going to work out well. So it'll say, hello cat, hello mountain, as I like I was explaining before. And so let's change some of the attributes. Hang on, attributes inspector, yep. So um, here is where we have correction, like autocorrect type of keyboard. You can have a email address keyboard, number pad. But I'll go for a different app, probably. Appearance, how it looks, and a return key. And so there's a clear button, that little X that pops up right here. Whenever you type, if you want to clear the text field all at once, you just press that button. So how about we put it always visible. You can change this to your likingness. And I think that's the only thing that we have to do with this. Now comes the fake coding. Make sure your little panel right here is closed out if it's not done so already, if you have a small MacBook. Otherwise, this will be really hard to see. See that? Can't really do this. So, make sure it's closed, then open up your assistant editor, and it should be in the .m file. So, this text right here, you want to control, click, drag underneath the interface. It's going to remain an Outlook, Outlet, not Outlook. Um, we're going to call this the outlet, and it's going to be weak. Here we're going to control dra drag. This is going to be called the input. And now we're going to control drag the button, which is not going to be an outlook. Outlet. Dang. I suck at this. Action. We're going to call it the change. Alright, so we have the change over here, the action. As you can see, it relates with that button, as does this. And these two bullet points refer to what they have clicked and dragged to, to be. I don't know. Alright, so we have self. Dot, I should probably tell you what I'm doing. So, underneath the fourth bullet point right here, you want to go in and make sure you're between the curly brackets. You want to type in self dot the outlet dot text equals self dot the input dot text. So basically, what we have going on right here is we're saying the outlet is equal to the input, not outlook, outlet. Right? Okay. 
So we have the outlet, whatever you... Let me reword this. Let's start with the input. You have the user that types in something, and when this user presses change, the outlet becomes whatever the user has put for the input. Try not to mess up the words right here. So make sure you have a semicolon over there. And basically, you have your app all completed and done. If you did everything I did. So let's go ahead and quickly run this. And hopefully it doesn't take forever to launch up like it usually does. Okay. We have our hello and then whatever object you want to put in here and then you have your change button. So, let's type in something. Hello tree. Max. So here's the little um, clear button that I was talking about earlier. Um, if you want to press change right now, there you go. Now you can type in whatever you want. And you can press change. Hello, type. Oh, yeah, there are some limitations though. If it's too big, it's going to have a dot dot dot. So, I hope this was a great learning experience for you, and hopefully, you can do something with this. You're not going to be creating Angry Birds with this or flappy birds but it's a good start and um, thanks for watching this video rate comment subscribe and hope to see you in another video sometime soon